Good day guys, got up this morning, made my coffee, started working on the Chick Queen and uh, Pakistani dessert video. I pretty much got it finished and edited. Uh, it is like 12, almost 12.30 right now, but uh, I looked at my calendar and it is Donate Blood Day. And uh, so I schedule the day that I give blood, I schedule for the next appointment right there, right then and there. And uh, so I gotta be up in Barrie uh, by 12.45, give blood, if you guys have the time and the blood, uh, I suggest you uh, do that and help people uh, who need blood for surgeries, transfusions, what have you. And uh, they need blood, of course, all the time. Every time I go there, they're always busy, so uh, that's a good thing. Uh, but every once in a while, we get an email saying, you know, they're really low on this kind of blood and. Some people skip their donations because they're busy or whatever, but you have to make the time if you can. Uh, I always make the time when I can. Uh, the worst the worst thing uh, that ever happened was I, I went to, or I guess I took uh, Carol and the family to uh, Dominican Republic, and Dominican Republic has a very high malaria issue, so, uh, if you go there, you are much a blacklisted for a year, and uh, then you're allowed to donate blood again. But uh, and then we went to Costa Rica, but the north end of Costa Rica, which Carol and I went to on our 20th anniversary, I believe, uh, it was uh, okay. If I, we were in the south part, like they have like zones that they you're not allowed to give blood once you for a year after you've visited that area uh so there are sometimes i look up where i want to go in the world and if it's going to interfere with me giving blood and i may or may not go depends on how desperate i want to go to that place or not but uh yeah it sucked because i could have given blood like four times i think you can give blood three or four times a year I haven't actually calculated calculated it out. Uh, it seems like it's almost like every two months, maybe more. Um, but I'll, I'll try maybe to figure that out today. So anyway, so I got up, I edited. Uh, oh, it's almost all done. I also have to edit a vlog and try to get that up later today as well. But my main concern is the, the food video. Uh, Carol and I have also scheduled our first yurt camping adventure and we're probably going to do two videos and uh, I hope you guys look forward to that because it will be the adventure kind of like what Rusty and I do but it'll be Carol and I I don't think she trusts Rusty she has no trust in Rusty she has no trusty in Rusty because uh, I'm like oh we got to take Rusty because Rusty's he's he's it right the whole reason I bought him is to do all these adventures he's my my production vehicle this is my getting around town and, and going out and doing stuff for myself vehicle. But uh, Rusty is our production vehicle and, and he needs to be used for productions. So uh, I have to talk him into it. It's gonna take a couple couple days. Uh, maybe I'll get an, another oil change and make sure everything's on the up and up with Rusty and that way she'll feel more secure. She just doesn't want to get stuck somewhere. But I haven't had any issues, so it should be all right. Anyway, so look forward to that. And uh, they are going to be going up on the big channel. We might vlog something while we're there. And uh, you'll have to find out where we're going after we've gone there. So let's get up to Barry, donate blood, and then I'm almost out of gas. I have 70 kilometers left on this tank. Uh, we'll find out how much gas costs in this area. And uh, have to grin and bear it. Put on the old visa. E. Let's go.
Well, this morning I was too busy to do the questionnaire and I've had, had that extra moment today and not had to edit. Uh, I would have been able to figure out that because we just came back from Cuba that I can't actually give blood until the 24th, which is, I guess, next week. Yeah, pretty much next Thursday. So I have to reschedule for next Thursday or Friday, whatever, anything after the 24th. Oh, what a pain. I wish I'd known that because that just took away about an hour, hour and a half of my editing that I needed. Anyway, uh, next thing I wanted to show you guys, I just bought this. So when when I was in, when I, while I was in, hey, here's a segue for you. Uh, while I was in Cuba, uh, we did a live show and I was kind of stuck to where I needed to be because of the wind on the beach. And we did a live show, I think in Cuba in November, and the same thing, it was the people were complaining about the, the noise of the wind over the microphone. So I said, I'm gonna look into getting a microphone or some type of a puff or something for this phone. And uh, so what I came up with is, is a Shure, and I think it's the MV88. And uh, look at this little microphone. Isn't that the coolest thing? Sure, with that mic. Uh, I can't wait to try just that poof on it. And uh, it just plugs into your phone. And so as soon as you plug it in, you have to download the apps, but as soon as you plug it in, uh, it's got just the right amount of lip on there that it fits into my case. When I don't, I don't my biggest worry is I'm gonna have to take my case off, but I don't have to. So it does this if I'm gonna talk to you guys uh, doing a live show. Um, but I could also do this if I was um, wanting to do an audio recording and I could talk to somebody like a microphone. Uh, and if I wanted to videotape you and ask you questions, I could take this off, turn it, because it doesn't swivel all the way around. It only swivels 90. So there's the 90 degrees. And again, now I could turn it and face you and I could be videotaping you and get a nice audio recording uh, with this amazing microphone. Uh, the other thing I also bought was a dead cat uh, windscreen and you just take this puff off put this on and we'll have no more issues uh, Next time we're on a beach on location somewhere doing a live show for you guys uh, So now we're safe from the wind and that case is just Just perfect. You just drop it in there keeps it all nice and safe it's like a semi hard case that'll protect it. Uh, I wish that would fit in there as well to keep it all together, but it doesn't. So I'm gonna have to make sure I don't lose that somehow. I'll put it in something bigger so I don't lose it. Anyway, so now I have to find a gas station and uh, we will gas up and then head back to the house as quickly as we can. And uh, finish that editing the longest part it takes about an hour and a half to two hours i think i've told you guys this a thousand times but i have to when it's finalized i have to render that doesn't take that long usually maybe five minutes and then i have to export it to the desktop which takes time maybe 10 15 20 minutes or more depending on how long the video is and then it goes to the desktop, then I bring it back into Final Cut Pro X, and then it has to uh, render that, or sorry, transcode that clip, which once again, depending on how long it is, can take 15, 20 minutes or more. Uh, and then I drag it into a 4K timeline, and then that has to render, and that takes time. And then I have to export it in 4K, which takes time. And then you have to upload it to YouTube which takes a crap load of time. So uh, I think I think the longest was two hours. And then YouTube, when they have it, they have to turn it into a SD file, a, um, HD file, and then a 4K file. And uh, the 4K one takes the longest. And uh, so something, and then they also have to check all the restrictions to make sure that uh, the computer doesn't find any profanity or something you said and and that they they have to uh give you the yellow dollar sign so that you ads are um sometimes placed there sometimes not so 
anyway so it's a long process and uh, it'd be nice to somehow increase the power of my computer um, I'd love to love to see an example of a, somebody's supercomputer to try and crush the uh, the, the um, size of my project and get things done faster because that takes like I said up to two hours of my day that guy almost flew right out of that side street right through the stop sign holy schmoly all right let's get home no we got to get to a gas station first and uh, i got 50 kilometers left luckily the gas station was is within 50 kilometers